Okay, I've got three exercises today that are really gonna help you if you're trying to stay functional as you get older. The key is going to be in the lower body especially. Okay, you've gotta keep your feet, your ankles, your knees and your hips strong, but not only strong, you have to keep them flexible. If you're a tennis player, we all know, you know, you need strong legs, okay? And that goes from the feet all the way up. So these um, exercises that, that I'm gonna show you are <clears throat> designed to give you full range of motion where you get the knee over the toe. If you can't, if you're not there yet, you have to work on it. You can regress back. For instance, if you can't do a split squat, just put two step ups together and use the, the, use the step ups to get, to start activating the joint, to start getting that synovial fluid back into the joint. Because if you don't move it, you're gonna lose it. Motion is lotion. You've gotta go as far as you can. If it's painful, okay, stop. But keep pulsing it, and then every day, you're gonna be able to do more. You're gonna be able to go further because the synovial fluid is bringing the blood and the healing back to the joint. So three exercises, <clears throat> gonna do four sets, 10 reps per set. Now I used, on the split squats, I used 10 pounds for the first set, 15 pounds for the second and third set, and 20 pounds in each hand, okay, for the split squats. For the regular squats, I was using a 20 pound kettlebell, and then for the the uh, Romanian deadlifts, I'm using 86 pounds. So this is a great workout, and remember to track your progress, you know? Eventually you have to add weight, add more sets, or add more reps, okay? That's what you've gotta do because you wanna keep progressing. So as I mentioned before, I'm 73, never lifted weights in my life, I've been a tennis player my whole life and um, uh, I took it up late actually in my early 20s, about 24 when I started to play. But um, you know, most of my life has just been tennis and teaching tennis. So um, I never felt the need. I was, after a full day of working as a tennis teaching professional, I didn't feel like <laughs> lifting weights, but I'm doing it now and it's helping me. I wanna maintain my functionality, my longevity, and I wanna be able to keep playing with the grandkids. I hit with them just recently and it's, been, it's a lot of fun. So um, <clears throat> the first thing I like to do with this workout, reverse walking. So what I'll do, I'll walk around the tennis court backwards for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now, when you walk backwards, you want to put the foot back here with the knee over the toe, then push off. And you want to take shorter steps, which are quicker. Quicker and shorter steps. So you get the knee over the toe, Shout out to ATG, Ben Patrick, knees over toes guys. Um, he's a great addition to YouTube. He's helped so many people and uh, I really appreciate his work. And I've been following it for the last uh, seven months pretty, pretty intensely and I'm trying to, you know, increase my flexibility and at the same time, increase my strength and my muscle mass. I'm trying to put on a little weight because you know, when you hit that serve or you hit that forehand, you want some weight behind it, baby. You need a little more weight to get a little more pop on it. So, and I'm a lightweight. I, 
I've never weighed more than 160, and I'm six feet tall. But um, anyway, 10 to 15 minutes reverse walking. I'm ready to go. Check out the workout. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please give me a like, a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel for more tips like these. This channel is all about helping you improve your health, your strength, your flexibility, and it gives you many healthful tips that can help you avoid the common ailments that are plaguing mankind today. Ailments like 
diabetes, heart disease, uh, cancers, high blood pressure, all of these things can be avoided if you have the right information and are following the right protocol. All the best, guys. Give me that like, give me that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I'll answer any questions that you put below to the best of my ability if I have time. And um, thank you all so much for making this channel what it is. Thank you.